All right, hello everyone. So today is the 29th of June. So let's take a look. Now, yesterday was a swing day for gold. And as you know, I sent, um, like we said, we could buy from this level at Astro Hours. And if you did, you should have been okay. 1912 was where I covered the trade and moved the stops forward. So we didn't have any losses at all. We had some profit yesterday. But the market, uh, and I did say 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. in the morning could be a support. And that's your support. The market went back up again, as you can see, and then came back down into this zone. So this zone is where the market is. If I take a look at the daily, all right, on the daily, this is like a level where the market can reverse. And Wednesday was a swing day. This is why we stood in front of that push down. Obviously, the trend is down. And the reason, like I said, we stood in front of it was because Wednesday was a swing day. Um, but obviously, normally, under normal circumstances, if we were not using astrology, we would not be standing in front of this on the weekly chart. Okay, obviously not. So this has got room to come down. But um, will we go up first in order to sell? Now, here, as you can see, we've got a bunch, we could just have a big zone here. Okay, there's a gap here, as you can see, from here to here. And then there's a gap from here to this. And then we've got this zone here. So it's a bit of a tricky zone, tricky situation. And also here we have the Saturn and Venus lines. And this is the Mars line. Okay, so this is Saturn and Mercury and Saturn together. So that's how it is. So this zone is a place where the market could pick up, but it could you know, easily come down into this zone as well. Now, the astro hours for today, so this is why we've got to be careful. We've got to make sure we do everything on the astro hours. I've already plugged in the astro hours, as you can see here, right? Okay, uh, and it's like 6.19 in the morning right now. I'm doing the video. Um, this is where the market bounced up. So bouncing up from here is logical. We've got room to fill up here. Okay, we've got gaps to fill out. The only thing that's like, you know, is a turn off is we're going against the trend. So do we want to do that? Well, if you don't want to take the risk, don't do it. Okay, yesterday I took the risk at the daily PSD because it was a swing day for gold. And that's basically it. Today, we've got a bunch of hours here, okay? And there's gonna be some excitement. We're probably gonna have some breakouts after 7 p.m. my time. And the breakouts should happen, you know, um, should happen going towards eight o'clock. So the market should rush somewhere and then we should keep going until um, closing. So if the market goes up, we want to be sellers as well. If the market is down, we can be buyers as well, but we're going to have some breakouts. So be mindful as to what's going on, okay, this Thursday. So this support is okay and also if you took astrology from me you would have been on top of your game in the asia session okay because I, you would have had this level at 4 30. okay you would have been staring at this and saying to yourself okay you know what we're going to be selling from here okay so you would have known this was a reversal thing happening here as well here we're running out of juice okay so this surprise move ends here Okay, and that's it. Um, any place of support, if the market goes up a little bit, then comes back into the zone, this could also be a buy level again. Okay, then we should break it because if we have these even lows here, I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And the reason I've got this zone here is because. This is where the market bounced off yesterday. So this bounce off here is logical. This is when the juice ends. So anybody wanting to get into the market here, this is it. 
So if you go into the five minute chart, you can get in here, but this is to go up. Okay. And then if it gets up here, you have to be careful. Okay. So that's that. I'm just going to put this into a five minute chart to see where we can, what we can do with this. Right here. So that's your five minute chart here. Okay. So this zone, like I said, we need to wait for this. And this is not a bad spot. Um, and the market could, you know, also, like I said, could head into that reversal. So Wednesday could be a reversal. Thursday, retesting it to push it up. It's doable. Okay. So that's that. I'd do it with a smaller lot size if you want to do it because we just like going against this thing here. And it's just scary. If the market goes up and you want to sell it again, you can. Okay. And the way to do that is wait for the astro hours to happen. So if the market goes back up here, closes the gap goes up here, closes the gap, um, you can still do that. If it comes up here a little bit, then you can push down again. So in this zone here, which is the high of today in the Asia session. So those are all doable. Um, and the interesting hours is going to be this zone here. So look out for 1020 to 1140, like right, 1020 to 1140, because by the time it's 1020, something's going to happen. All right, something's going to happen. So be careful. And then 1140 is where we should have the swing level, which should take us into the New York session into the morning. All right. And that's basically it. So um, like I said, these low levels are also okay to go long, do it with a smaller lot size because there's a lot of energy pushing it there. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now, this is the euro dollar. Remember, we're sellers on the euro dollar. We want to sell because we're on the Venus line here. And this zone is a sell zone as we've determined. determined. Yesterday, this was a astro hour. I said we could sell from these levels. The market pushed down, comes back up, and then selling off again. So I'm now going to delete this. Okay, so what we want to do again, I didn't put the astro hours here, I just put them on gold, but you know, you're going to get them in the members area anyway, so you can put it on whatever you're trading. Once we go back up, we can sell off again, that's 58 level 1.0938. 1.0938 is there. Um, can the market sell off from there? Yeah, because 1.0938. That's your daily pivot there. So coming up into here, I think is doable. If you want to sell off, like I said, again, you can do it. You can check out this 1040. You can wait for that 1040. All right, 11, 1042. Let's do this 1045. Oh, come on, mate. 1045 until 11.45. All right, so this one hour period here is also going to be interesting for us. And there's a bit of liquidity there. So the market should go higher and then sell off. All right, and that's what we'd like to do. So let it come up and sell off if you want. If you want to play both sides of the market, go on, a, you know, go on both sides if you want. You know, just make sure you've got your money management in order. Okay, so then the support is going to be 50. That's 1.0881, 1 1.0881. Now, one more thing, if you're trading, whatever you're trading or whatever you trade, what you got to be careful for is the swing day. And the swing day for the euro dollar, as you know, was Monday and there's another day, right? So make sure you've got those days um, on your radar. So you might want to wait for that day to trade. Or like I said, you might want to just go up and then sell and go with the flow of the market as well. That's also doable, not a problem. Okay, on the daily, as you can see, we're right on the support from the price point of view. But there's room to come down the PSD. If it goes up, I'd rather sell. Okay, uh, but if it breaks above that level, and goes above the let's say it went above that level let me just refresh this okay 
that's the daily pivot as well so the market will want to sell here as well so it really depends you can sell here or you can sell there okay uh, both are fine um yeah both are fine as you can see on the weekly as well asia sold nicely if it goes back up again there selling in the zone is okay selling there is okay but if it breaks above that closes above that don't muck around i'm going to delete that and the reason you shouldn't muck around with it is if it breaks above the daily you, know, you don't want to stand in front of it okay but you do want to sell from the highs here and that's what we'd like to do I want to come back into this zone let's take a look at dow jones now with the dow we've got a bit of a breakout here now remember with the dow jones sp 500 and nasdaq wednesday was a swing day all right and that's your wednesday with dow jones we had tuesday as well <clears throat> sp 500 we had tuesday as well so tuesday wednesday these are like swing days pushing up so what to do well going up is not a bad idea let's take a look at the weekly first you see we're right in this zone if you want to go long on the daily you want to do it at 49 which is 33 8 30 33 830 is going to be there All right, so this zone, okay, let me just refresh this. As you can see, these are the astro hours from yesterday. If you went long yesterday here, you would have been fine right on the weekly pivot. You would have taken profit there. Obviously, that's a weekly pivot. You know that's going to be, you know, strong. And then the market comes back, does not go any lower. So if you had your stop loss just under the low here, you still would have been okay and you would have ended up right here at that one o'clock bar which i talked about yesterday as well okay that's that so now we've got here as well like i said at 6 45 is the first astro hour so if the market wants to pick up it can but this goodbye kiss is where we'd like to focus on 33 830 33805 and then push it up into that 34 what's that first target there looks like 59 34159 okay 34159 so somewhere along the lines there which is fine because as you can see that kind of matches our that kind of matches where we want to get to in the first place so what i can do is now i can extend that okay and that's it so the market can pretty much get into that zone let's see what else we've got there we've got higher levels as well um the next one close to that is 62 which is 34 252 34 252 Whoops, where are we? 34252. Okay, so that's going to be a bit more up there, and that's fine. Okay, so yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so Tuesday was a swing day on Dow Jones. In fact, you would have been in a good good situation to get in on Tuesday and Wednesday. There's a Tuesday there. All right, nice and easy. Uh, and that's the retracement, impulse wave, A, B, C, retracement, bouncing off at the astro hour going up. So that's basically fine. Okay, so if you were in that trade, you would have been okay. So once again, this is a bit tricky, but the gap is here. So the market going up from these zones is a possibility. So if you want to trade, take this into account where the market will enter a gap and so on okay um, and that's basically it just do everything on the astro hours and that's how it is okay so on the pullback we can go into that zone let's take a look at the sp500 on the daily 
the SP500 on daily. Now remember, we had a swing day on Tuesday on this as well, and that's your Tuesday. Beautiful swing day from the lows, all right? So if you got in there, you would have been laughing. Okay, Tuesday, beautiful, all right? So now we've got a bit of a pullback. Let's refresh the chart here. Okay. <clears throat> and that's that. So let's wait for a pullback again into that zone. Let's see where that is. Um, okay, all right. So the market has now changed and that's fine. That's where we took off. Beautiful. And on the weekly, pushing up a little bit. And that's also fine. Okay, now the next swing day for the indices, remember, you got to look out for is poof, today or tomorrow. So you got to be careful. Okay, you have to be careful. Why? Because I did say if we end up in this zone, I said we should end up in this zone because this is where they sold off. Okay, no wonder the market stopped it. That's a 50% retracement. So if the market wants to sell off again, it could do so. But there's also a bit of a gap here. All right, that the market may want to fill up. And that gap is there and there. Okay, so getting in there and then selling off again is an option this week okay so this zone 439 4, 400 let's say 4399 let's say 4400 okay and 4390 let's 4000 Just bear with me. Let's check that number again. Um, high. 4393. Okay, 4393 there. All right, so we should get into this zone. It's nearly done it in any case, but if it does get up there, this will be a sell zone this week. All right, so worth looking out for. So the market may come down push up there and sell off from there and that shouldn't surprise you it's an index doing it in the u.s session is not a bad idea we're going to have some like i said volatility and breakouts happening during the evening my time so be careful i'm going to note those for you in the members area okay so what can you do in summary in short for this look to sell from this zone here and that's it. So market going down, up, sell off again. If the market comes down into an astro before it goes up, buying is okay to do so. Okay. And that you can do in the weekly zone in this zone as well, because this is where the gap's closing up. All right. And that's basically it. Let's take a look at NASDAQ and Bitcoin. Now, with NASDAQ, remember we had the swing day for NASDAQ on Wednesday, all right? So that's your Wednesday there. So it's done that nice swing top. And this zone, as you can see, is a sell zone. It's fine to sell off. And look where we're at. Remember, I drew that yesterday. And I said, if you're following it, just follow your ATAM strategy, your PST indicator. See how nicely it came up there? Your 15-minute chart, that was it there. Okay, that was a price target there. And as you can see here, okay, that was 715 there. And this is seven o'clock there. All right, so that was, whoops. All right, on the 28th of June. 6.50, so 6.15 to 6.50 was your zone there, okay? So that's your seven o'clock. 
that's your 650 bar there all right so the market is up there does a bit of a swipe and then pushes down and again today the astro hours remember 428 and that's your 428 i don't have to check the hours i can see that because that's the top that it did 428 so the market should sizzle down okay we should come down so if we go up again today in the new york session you can push down we should have you know like i said we should have breakout sessions happening so if this is true we should be selling off from this zone here onwards okay um that's that let's take a look at bitcoin now on the bitcoin remember we want to be selling at the tops so we're not really buyers and yesterday the market sold so you know there's really not much happening here as you can see if you want to sell off again you can do that 1773 which is going to be 31,060 and 31,771 so 31,000 30 where are you there all right so will it go up that far okay it might because there's a as you can see this is like a flag formation happening here so we should uh, we should probably come back down so if it goes up selling again should be the way to go you got these levels here hcl1 which is 29 800 and going into 57 29 480 so 29 500 29 800 29 okay 29 500 is about there and 29 hundred is about here which the market already did that yesterday, but still that's also on the cards today, okay, for that, okay, the HCL1 line, all right? So if it goes up, you can sell off again at that 70 zone, if it's an Astro Hour at 31,058, which is just there. Okay, that's that. 